Hello there. What's up? So some of you asked me how I do my paintings. I'm gonna show you today in this video. It's gonna happen. And even though I answered this question before, I still get asked all the time how I taught myself. I have no idea. I've been drawing and painting since I was itty bitty. Getting off topic, back to the point. How I start to paint. Most importantly is step one. Give a crap about painting. Two, place something on the floor so you don't get paint all over it. I prefer to use something called a towel. Every time before step two actually happens, I make a dress out of the towel and... I don't know why I do that. I don't know. And I look pretty ridiculous, but who cares? This is the internet. Step three, prepare your canvas. You can either make your canvas or buy a canvas, and supplies for either of those things could be found in any art store. I usually go to Michael's or whatever art store I can find. Personally, I tend to buy my canvases because I'm lazy. Oh my god, you don't make your canvases, you're not a real artist. I don't even care, I don't even care, whatever, Pfft. judge me, I don't even care. Step four, very crucial is music. These are my favorite headphones. They're Skull Candy, but I kind of destroyed them. There's like tape on the side. I did sit on them by accident. I really didn't think I was a hippopotamus, so I didn't think I would break them. So with this painting, I didn't use any reference because I wanted it to look very dreamlike. It sort of fades into these weird grayish, lavenderish, bluish colors. For the colors, I mostly mixed white, black, dark blue, light blue, and red to get the lavender in it. I wanted it to look realistic enough to where it's believable and it looks like it could happen, but you know that it's impossible for these colors and the scene to just exist in nature in real life. That's also why I painted it completely from imagination, like there were no references used, it was just all up here. I didn't really want it to represent any certain thing that actually exists. I wanted it to be completely imaginary. Cherry blossoms are very symbolic to me because they bring a lot back from my childhood. And I'm talking memories like before I came to America, before I spoke any English, a lot of memories involving family. They're all very euphoric memories and I love thinking about them. I get weird flashbacks throughout the day of like these memories that I just randomly start remembering. I don't even know if they're real memories, they're just things I remember. You know, it could be just my mind making something up and I believe it. Cherry blossoms also appear in a lot of my dreams for some reason and I just, I just associate them with so much positivity and you know, innocence and childhood and beauty in nature and when I think about them I can't possibly you know feel like sad and you know before painting this I could just hear the cherry blossom trees talking to me in my head and they were like please will you paint us and I'm just like how could I say no they said please oh you know I just like to talk to trees that are imaginary and exist in my head and I just like to have conversations with them I'm not crazy or anything what are you talking about like crazy <laughs> me no <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Also, the music you're hearing in the background is made by me. I was playing the piano and messing around with my keyboard and I kind of came up with that little soundtrack for this video. Yeah, so I hope you like it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the painting. If you're interested in buying it, link to the auction is in the description. We'll see you very soon. Bye guys.